You know, advertising, you can go two different ways. Uh, either a highly valuable and, and hard to reach audience that somehow you have acquired uh, that are in a mindset that is very valuable to an advertiser, um, or um, the mass undifferentiated audience. And if you're going to focus in on the lower end, I, I think at that point it's the size of the audience that's the proxy uh, and the activity levels of the audience. Google's probably a good proxy for this as well. And I think they, their approach was to sort of separate um, search, sort of church from state. And the ad teams were trying to figure out how to monetize web search pages without touching the core of the consumer experience. And I think you just gave the ad team a challenge to figure out how to pull it off. If you have a consumer-based product, you have to make sure that you're setting up those paywalls and, and monetizing based on what you feel is valuable to that user experience. We don't want to alienate, especially our product team doesn't want to alienate the experience that the user has. And I think now it's too, it's accepted. Everybody's fine with advertising. Five years ago, it was a big deal to put advertising on a page. Now you're like, okay, if I don't have to pay and you're just gonna put some banners, I'm gonna ignore them anyway. Great. Um, <laughs> it, but it, it's truly, I think that does change when and why you do it. If you have a big audience that's more general public, you're gonna get a lower ad rate anyway, so now you have to figure out other creative ways to monetize them versus just an ad network. Thank you.